Funeral services held today for Wallace Broadnack, a well-respected retired Gary firefighter. The Indiana Basketball Hall of Famer was lost last week into gun violence. As WGN's Jenna Barnes reports, Broadnack was remembered as a dedicated and caring community leader. Wallace Broadnax never met a stranger in his 70 years, 25 of them as a Gary firefighter. Yeah, that's the thing, his family. He drove the truck next to William Todd and brought Demetrius Mason into the fold. You're 21, getting on the fire department, you don't, you don't know what to do. And I mean, he was just helpful in telling you, what to, this is what they're going to expect, this is what you got to do, this is, this is not a joke anymore. At first, it was a challenge for Demetrius to separate his mentor from the legend he'd heard about for years. When I got on, I said, oh man, that, he was one of the state champions is with the basketball team, <laughs> so it was kind of exciting. Wallace, affectionately known as Wally Gator, was part of Gary Roosevelt High School's 1968 state championship team, the first all-black team from Northwest Indiana to win that title. He was inducted into the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame in 1993, but fame wasn't for him. People who know Wallace know very how very understated he was. He, he did not seek the limelight. That's why Chuck Hughes says Wallace never wanted the attention of a firefighter's funeral. No, that's not Wally. What he did, he did out of the kindness of his heart. It wasn't for fanfare and it wasn't for self-aggrandizement. It was a funeral no one expected, but just about everyone in Gary wanted to attend Saturday at First Baptist Church. This one is going to stick with this community for a long time. Wallace was shot and killed a week ago during an armed robbery at a gas station where he stopped to fill up. Police arrested two juveniles. Kids, Wallace's friends say he would have lent a hand like he did so many others, even after he retired from his job as a first responder and worked at his family's funeral home. Yeah, Wallace brought a young guy one day hard on his luck to the funeral home to kind of get him back on his feet, and he was a 15-year employee after that. So that's Wallace brought next. A man who never sought the spotlight, but it found him because of the relationships he built and the people he helped along the way. He's going to heaven as far as I'm concerned. That's his place. And I hate it happen like that, but he's going to heaven. Wallace is survived by his wife of 34 years, his children and 10 grandchildren. Gary's mayor is planning to announce a new safety amendment in his memory next week. In Gary, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.